Really gotta remember to start closing that window. It's kind of chilly in here. But, looks like the AMD Radeon RX 6000M Mobility GPUs are expected to launch in the first half of this year, and the high-end model has appeared within the latest display driver. Now, spotted by Komachi, the Radeon RX 6000M is confirmed as AMD's next high-end mobility offering, one which should replace the Radeon RX 5700M as the new flagship. Now, the Radeon RX 6000M Mobility GPUs will be based on the RDNA 2 architecture, and they will be seceding the Radeon RX 5000M Mobility GPUs, which looked great on paper, but were, well, lacking proper availability in the retail segment. Not a lot of laptops ended up featuring them and those that were announced were, well, extremely limited to begin with. Now it was all a pipe dream it seemed, but hopefully with RDNA 2, AMD can change that and provide much more stock for the Radeon RX 6000M as well as options to consumers who will be buying these high-end gaming and mainstream laptops. Now the AMD Radeon RX 6800M was spotted within the latest AMD graphics display driver. Now the GPU has the 73D5C3 device ID and is seemingly a variant of the Navi 22 SKU with specifications that might end up being similar to the Radeon RX 6700 XT desktop graphics cards. Now there are at least three variants of the AMD Navi 22 SKU which exist and two being specific to the RX 6700 XT featuring different TGP flavors listed as C1 and C5 and the C3 variant of the RX 6800M. Now the naming scheme itself is quite interesting as the Radeon RX 6800 for desktops is based on the Navi 21 SKU which wouldn't be suitable for laptops releasing given their higher TGP requirements. But the RX 6800M will instead be featuring the Navi 22 SKU. Now in terms of specifications, the AMD Radeon RX 6800M would end up featuring 2,560 cores with 40 ray accelerator units. Now the Navi 22 GPU would also be featuring 96 megabytes of infinity cache, so we can expect that to remain intact for the mobility part. Now the memory size would be interesting as AMD could go with 6, 12, or even 24 gigabytes with the 192-bit bus interface. Now the reason for going for 24 gigabytes would be solely due to the existence of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Mobility, which features 16 gigabytes of VRAM. Now it's possible that AMD could release the RX 6800M with 24 gigabytes and the 6700M with 12 gigabytes and maybe another SKU with the 6 gigabyte variant. But that's all just speculation on our end. Now in terms of TGP, the Navi 22 lineup was rumored to come in 145 watts, 135 watts, 100 watts, and 90 watt flavors. Now it's not set in stone if they would be four variants, but these could be ES chips or engineering sample chips designed for evaluation, and some may never even see the light of day. Other than the Navi 22 GPU, the Navi 23 and Navi 24 GPUs are also expected to make an entry in the Radeon RX 6000M lineup. So expect more information on those and the ones we've discussed previously in the coming months as we close in on Computex of 2021. All right, guys, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you liked what you saw here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Hit the bell notification so that we don't miss you in the future. And if you want to catch out something you may have missed, hit up the links over here on this side. And we'll catch you in the next one.